Now for the last little bit of this battery life, what I'm going to do is fly in loiter mode. This is basically getting the craft to hang in the air. The reason for this is that I'm still with a very new craft and a very new battery trying to get a handle on how long the battery actually lasts and how much charge we can put back into it. So I've just made a minor adjustment to this craft before this flight in fact to lower the voltages at which it reports the battery running low by 0.1 of a volt and I want to see what impact that has. Yesterday when I flew the battery warning light came on much earlier than I expected and when I recharged the battery it put in less power than I expected so that suggested the settings were still too high. So what I'm going to do now is basically run down the batteries and then you'll also see at the end of the film another feature of this craft which uh, may come as a surprise. I'll explain it when we get there. So start the props and take off. What you can see at the moment is the craft is really very stable. It's holding its GPS position. And that's what I mean by being in loiter mode. So I can step away from it, walk away, whatever. And the craft is literally just hanging there in space. without any inputs into the controls at all. So it's got a GPS lock, it knows its position, and it's also, because I'm not changing the throttle settings, it's not changing its altitude either. That little red light that was flashing single time there was indicating poor GPS position. The red light that's now flashing continuously means that the voltage has dropped to the point that it's uh, got to the end of its flight time and that was not really that long after the time I'd calibrated. So that's approximately at 80% of the anticipated flight time. So when I've got my video editing software going I can cut out the next bit but basically I'm going to leave it here until it lands by itself, because that's what happens in the current configuration. The, the auto landing feature is intended to prevent the craft dropping out of the sky and hurting someone, so it, it makes sense. However, you've got, effectively got the two stage alarm. The first stage being that flashing light, the second stage being the automatic landing. However, uh, what you'd prefer to do, I suspect in some cases, is continue to fly the craft and get it potentially out of trouble rather than have it landing where it, wherever it is, which might be a lake if you're really unlucky. So, given the choice between losing the whole craft and actually losing uh, the battery by over-discharging it, you'd probably want to carry on flying. So, what I'm going to do ultimately is remove the second battery threshold by making it zero and add an audible alarm to the system. Here we go. Without me doing anything to the controls, the craft has now landed itself. Having landed itself automatically like this, it doesn't actually shut off the propellers unlike when you put it into failsafe mode. So I have to stop it automatically, I stop it manually. So this time we got uh, almost 14 and a half minutes of flight, which is half a minute longer than before. So dropping the voltage by that point one looks like it was a good idea.